Hi, my name is Billy Smith. I just want to welcome you to the seventh annual Faces of Freedom. And I'm going to talk a little bit about my art and my process. Um, during quarantine and during this time, I found myself struggling and, you know, looking for inspiration as I feel many artists did. And as I was sitting in my studio, I was just thinking, what's the next masterpiece? What's the next piece that I'm going to work on? Um, sometimes that's a hard process. Sometimes it's just me, um, you know, going into the woods, closing my eyes, praying to God, trying to figure out what is it that I'm supposed to do at this moment. And then that's when the news hit. And it hit me like a ton of bricks. And I came across Facebook and it said, Chadwick Boseman passes away from colon cancer. And he had been fighting it for four or five years and it was stage four. And I'm, I'm confused because I'm like, I never heard that this man was sick. And I had just watched some of his latest films and I was distraught. And it wasn't just because this is a celebrity who passes away and we, we treat the celebrity higher than anybody else. This man, inspired me in so many ways I don't think that I could put into words. He inspired me as an artist, as a visual artist, but he also inspired me as a filmmaker. Um, he set the bar very high for what it means, you know, how to find an actor who would actually take on a role and embody that role and make that role better. Um, so I feel like you know, as I'm casting for, for film in the future, I'm looking for the young or the new or, or just somebody who will have that, that same amount of drive to bring that energy to a role and then eventually onto the screen. Um, I don't think there'll ever be another Chadwick Boseman. I don't really think that we, you know, we should be setting out to find someone to replace somebody who passes but I think he inspired many actors and he inspired many artists and he inspired I hope the whole entire world especially during the time period where you know we're we're trying to come together as one people I knew that it was something that I needed to do as far as um, to commemorate his life uh, felt like he, he, he did this quietly. No one knew that he was sick. So it was just heroic that he would do so many movies knowing that his life was hanging in the balance and a lot of people would have gave up. So it was encouraging just to know that as I was watching The Five Bloods and and you know, the message from the king and all of these movies that he did at the end of his life, that this man was gravely ill, but yet he still felt the need to give us his art. And that's kind of, you know, the way that I feel, no matter what's going on, that I want to be able to inspire people and continue to do my art, because I feel like that that's what God called me to do. And not only was he a great actor, he was also a, an amazing role model for people off screen. Um, Chadwick Boseman was a man that just had a good heart. And I sat in my studio and I cried and I, I, I wanted to know, is this it? Is this the next masterpiece? And then I started to sketch. and. What inspired this piece was one of his last films that he did, which was Black Panther. And he played a character, King T'Challa. And this is not just your typical African story of, of Africa, people living in poverty and, and struggling, because that's what a lot of people think of when they think of Africa. But in Black Panther, they, were, they portrayed a fictional place called Wakanda, a place that was rich, wealthy, intelligent, you know. They had the world's highest technology. 
and Chadwick Boseman was king. And there's so many ties to this, to the African-American um, roots. You know, we're, we, we know that, that a lot of knowledge originated from Africa. No one wants to talk about it, but we know that that's what happened. And we know that there was a lot stolen from Africa. Um, but the story was just monumental because at this time I was struggling with film. I was wondering, when are we going to have actual storytelling again? And this story that was told was just beautiful. And it inspired me to paint. So I thought, I'll create Chadwick Boseman as T'Challa, but also as the Black Panther. I wanted to show both sides of who he was in this movie, but also this might have been the first time that a lot of young black kids were able to see a black man portrayed as a hero, as a superhero at that, and not some drug dealer or not some thug on the street, you know? Because that's what normally gets, normally that's how we see ourselves on film. So I thought this is such a powerful statement that I want to make with this piece. And the side of T'Challa, I wanted to portray him in the ancestral plane because as he, as he passes away in the film, he goes to the ancestral plane and talks with his father. And I could imagine the day that Chad actually passed away that when he crossed over, he seen the face of God. And also I wanted to portray the Black Panther side, the superhero side, the, the strength of the Black Panther and what that means to Wakanda. So it was, it was a very emotional piece. I found myself at times in tears as I painted, which happens to me often. It's more than just putting an image on a canvas. It's, it's more than just taking a brush and dipping it in paint and, and, and trying to get a likeness. It's about putting the essence of a person uh, the essence of someone's soul, the essence of who they were, the essence of their leadership, you know, the essence of their full being into a painting so that not only you, you think you see the person again or that you believe that this is who that is, but also that their legacy lives on. I hope that this piece inspires many artists and even inspires um, people who are not artists um, to dig into their own history and also just to just to, to study of the man Chadwick Boseman and what he did in his lifetime and who he was through and through. Thank you again. I mean, this has been such a, an amazing time just to talk with you a little bit about this piece. Um, I hope it gives you insight a little bit into how my process goes, so I hope you enjoy.